Denton, Texas. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I will be biased for many reasons. I used to live in Denton. I used to work in Denton. I made millions of dollars in Denton, even before real estate. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty biased when it comes to Denton because it's been so good to me. However, with that being said, I understand the integrity of this YouTube channel. So I'm going to do my best and step back for a quick second and give you as an objective view as I could possibly create for you. So we're going to look at Denton's history, what it's like to live in Denton. And we're also going to be talking about the affordability, employment, lifestyle and real estate. Now, we're also going to compare Denton with other cities. And again, I will do my best to be as objective as possible when comparing and ranking against other cities. So let's look at everything you need to know about Denton, Texas. Denton is located at the far north side of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. This is where major interstates converge. You have I-35 West and I-35 East meeting in Denton. And you also want to take note of Highway 380, which connects Denton to the northeast side of the Metroplex. Now, if you're trying to get to major cities like Fort Worth, it's going to take you about 45 minutes with moderate traffic. Now, if you want to catch a Mavs game and go all the way to downtown, you're looking at about 45 minutes as well. Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to find yourself going to the DFW International Airport with regularity, and that's going to take you about 30 minutes. Now, those maps and travel times give you a good indication of where Denton is in relation to the larger, more frequented areas. Now, if you want to see how far you can travel away from Denton within 30 minutes, this map gives you a good indicator of what the commute can look like. So now that we know where in the world Denton, Texas even is, I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate whether you're buying or selling. And one way that you can help our channel and our mission is by hitting that like button. All right, so now back to Denton. Denton, Texas is a city located in Denton County. The city was founded in 1857 and named after John B. Denton, a pioneer lawyer and soldier who fought in the Texas Revolution. Denton quickly became an important stop on the Chisholm Trail and the city's population grew rapidly as new residents arrived seeking opportunities in the cattle industry. In the late 19th century, Denton began to develop into a major educational center with the establishment of several colleges and universities, such as the University of North Texas and Texas Women's University. And the city is home to a diverse population of nearly 140,000 people as of 2020, making it one of the largest cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex. Now we pull in external resources from all of our videos, but in this video specifically, we absolutely needed to, to kind of mitigate some of my bias. So we really wanna lean in on niche.com, which analyzes millions of public data points all across the country to rank cities. And as of last year, Denton ranked number 56 in the top cities in America, receiving an A overall niche grade, which aggregates 12 categories that you're seeing on the screen. And one of the reasons that Denton ranked so high was because of the parks and the schools. So we need to explore those. You can discover the great outdoors in Denton by walking, running, or biking the 37 trails that are available to you. You can also take your kids to one of the 31 playgrounds available in Denton or go out on a picnic and enjoy one of the 41 parks available. And one of the cool things about Denton is that you can leverage both the indoor and outdoor facilities for any event that you throw given that Denton has a great relationship with the University of North Texas and Texas Women's University, which gives its residents access to benefit and utilize the world-class sporting facilities. All right, so now let's talk about the school system because it really matters, regardless if you have kids or not, because the school system affects the property taxes that you're paying and also affects the resale values of your home because a lot of potential home buyers are looking for that perfect school system. So if you look at Denton ISD by the numbers, you have over 32,000 enrolled students, almost 4,500 employees, which makes it one of the largest employers in the county, which are spread across 42 campuses, 24 elementary schools, eight middle schools, four high schools, three early childhood centers, one college and career academy, one accelerated high school of choice, and one K through eighth virtual academy. And in 2021, the senior class racked in a whopping $35 million in scholarships. And this is the second time that we mentioned diversity, given that there's a total of 52 languages in addition to English spoken across the district, which had 25 schools built since the year 2000. So you have newer facilities. 
and the district also boasts a nearly 97% high school graduation rate. Now I understand that parks and schools are super important for you, but we also need to understand what's the Chick-fil-A situation like. And I'm happy to report that Chick-fil-A has four locations ready to serve you. All right, so I'm only half joking. I understand that Chick-fil-A is pretty serious business for some folks, so I really needed to include that. However, let's get into something that really truly matters, and that's real estate. Because regardless, if you're a renter or a homeowner, real estate impacts your quality of life. So let's first look at Denton real estate from the macro level. The typical home value of homes in Denton is $392,860, which Denton home values have gone up 28.1% over the past year. Because as you can see in this 10 year chart, home values absolutely exploded over the last couple of years which if you've been holding off to buy until the prices come down, very soon it might be your opportunity. Now that's the real estate land shot in Denton. Let's look at the surrounding communities and see what they're about. Cooper Canyon, 858,000. Corinth, 459,000. Shady Shores, 588,000. Crossroads, 406,000. Sanger, 385,000. Ponder, 355,000. And Crum has a 377,000 median home value. So as you can see, there's some cities right outside of Denton that are astronomically higher in price value. But you also have some communities outside of Denton that aren't as expensive as Denton city limits. Now, if you're from another area or just aren't that familiar with real estate these days, let's look at some homes that you can afford for the median home value. So the following homes that you're about to see are in the $400,000 range. Now those are homes that are available for sale right now. However, by the time that you're watching this video, chances are they're gone. So make sure you check out the link in the description, which gives you homes that are actively for sale right now in Denton. Now, while real estate is extremely important, it's actually not the entire picture. So we need to factor in some additional components to truly understand the affordability of the city and the cost of living is one of those ways, which the cost of living in Denton is actually 7% less than the national average with housing being 11% less than the average. Utilities is also 11% less, and groceries are 7% less. Now what is gonna be above the national average is the transportation by over 2%. So if you're thinking that at this point that Denton is the spot for you, then connect with our top realtors. Our information is down in the description. Now, if you're still on the fence about Denton, that is okay. It's at this point in this video where I make other recommendations. And this one was a challenge for me because Denton is very unique. There's different qualities that align with other cities, but aren't quite Denton. So to give you my best opinion, I'm gonna actually suggest the same movement pattern that I did. And I want you to check out Carrollton because that's where I went once I moved from Denton. And the other city that I want you to check out is The Colony.